Radio Atlantis, le service international. Hier ist Radio Atlantis International. Aquí Radio Atlantis International. This is Atlantis. Music in 74. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've, uh, we've uh, taken over this, this here uh, radio station and uh, we're, we're, we're dragging it from the 1960s uh, into the 1970s. And boy, is it rough out here today. Well, it, it took me ages to get here, it, you know. It did, didn't it? Yes. The tender captain actually got lost he was drinking too much on the way here i had to take over riding the boat <laughs> well we've taken we've taken a, a leaf out of the uh, book of the somalian pirates and uh, we're taking this uh, ship over and dragging it to the 1970s uh, for at least an hour i think i reckon so yeah, yeah. maybe an hour and a half yes. hours, what do you, say? you you just hold off the uh, the captain and crew with your water pistol <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Uh, we, we have. We're not going to make anybody walk the plank. Um, in actual fact, uh, we do have a plank, but we're reserving that for any bankers who come past. <laughs> so, if you see if you see Fred Goodwin, uh, Sir Fred Goodwin, make sure that you load his pockets with pound notes from his pension, and you make him walk the plank, Dave. So right. I tell you, we've got to, got to say hi to some people as well who've emailed in. Yep. Helen McDonald, thanks very much. She's from LA. Nice to hear from you. Also, Maddie from Holland on Sea. Email from Steve as well. That's not you, that's somebody else. Oh. Saying hi to Gary. Gary Walker, he's from uh, listening in North Somerset. John Broughton, he's listening in uh, West York. So yeah, keep on listening. Also, Gary's going on Hapney Pier because that's not too far away from where we are at the moment because we're no, an no, anchored no. about, what is it, uh, two feet off the pier at the moment? I think about two inches off the pier, something yeah, like I that. Know. Have <laughs> you tied, untied the ropes yet? I'm going to do it in a minute. Good, good. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll have lots of uh, interesting things in this hour, um, reproducing some of the items you may have heard on Radio Atlantis, Music Radio 74. And uh, we've, all, we've also got an interview with Ron O'Quinn. Did you have know we that? really? Yes, yes. We were staying with Ron O'Quinn a few weeks ago, and uh, we'll be talking to him then. Yeah. Big guy from the 80s, from the 60s, isn't Yeah, we? yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll all look forward to that. And you may be hearing some of the people that you used to hear on Radio Atlantis as well. We've got some excerpts of those. But first... The famous Radio Atlantis archives are on the air. Radio Atlantis reactivates its spring-driven gramophone to play another dusty gem at 78 RPM. Oh no, the record's got stuck already. <laughs> go, go! Pirate BBC Essex Charge! And straight on to this one. This is Rock the Boat and the Hughes Corporation. Nothing to do with Howard Hughes, of course. And this boat is certainly rocking. So I'd like to know where you got the notion. Say I'd like well, to I'm know where you got yeah. the notion. <laughs> <laughs> rock the boat. I'm just going to do Ever since our voyage of love began Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 Power at BBC Radio 6. I was very pleased to actually just come on board. We unloaded the supplies from the tender. Actually, particularly pleased because I actually found 15 cartons of choco milk. That's uh, actually sort of cans of chocolate. I'm going to be sort of living on that for the next couple of weeks while we're anchored out here. I'm a little bit worried though because there's no Heineken. And also, what? we've got to eat chicken for the next three weeks. Chicken and chips? Chicken, yeah, it's not clever. It's not clever. And if I remember correctly, this is one of the big songs from 1974 as well. First Class and Beach Baby. Do you remember back in old LA? Oh, and everybody drove a Chevrolet. Oh, Radio Atlantis. Exclusive! Exclusive! Well, duh. I, I recognize that voice. I recognize 
recognise that voice. That, that, was, that was Ron O'Quinn making fun of our 35-year-old exclusive. How could he do that? Uh, impossible. <laughs> we were, we're, we're first with this, aren't we? <laughs> we are I first. We are. We are the first people ever to play this record on the air. At least a few inches from this pier. I have to actually say, congratulate you on what you did last night. I know you'd had a couple of drinks, but actually climbing up the mast, putting the aerial back up again, you were the <laughs> only one that was going to do it. Someone had to do it, and it was you. Well, I was the only one who wasn't drunk, I think that's what it was, yeah? <laughs> I've never, never passed my lips. <laughs> uh, now, I was just, we've got a few minutes to talk now. Uh, you're, you, you did it the other way round from me. I went to uh, Radio Atlantis second, but Caroline first, and you did it the other way round, didn't right. you? That's right, that's right. It's actually very exciting as well, because it was the first... It was the first big station I've worked for. Not worked for a lot of small pirate stations, then uh, went out to Radio Atlantis. Everyone thought I looked very strange, I believe. That's what you told me. Uh, well, it wasn't really strange. It was just that you had very long hair and um, uh, and, and wore a, a RAF great coat, if my memory serves me right. I was trying to look for it to bring it along today. <laughs> I really was, honestly. I would have recognised you then. I would have recognised you. But uh, anyway, it was... I know, happy days. And then we just got stuck out there for weeks, months. Absolutely. Well, and the funny thing is, as well, I think, you know, we were there for what six months nine months whatever it was really quite short time when you look at how long we uh, we actually live absolutely and yeah. you turned on to a great mate i've been friends with you for years and years and years and years i, I know we, st we we still talk every day and we we still he voices for me i voice for him and um, you're back at radio jack you started at radio jackie you're back at radio jackie i know now. i know things just go round don't they <laughs> radio jackie because one of the very first big land-based pirates in South London, but uh, and now and fun, now right? licensed and yes. now licensed. I know. I'm not quite sure who made that decision, but I think it was unwise. You've gone legal. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's still a whole heap of fun. Actually, we try and be as naughty as we can. Well, that's that's the that's the main idea which, between radio. But what you about know. you then? I mean, on Caroline, what got you to Caroline at the first? Well, place? I've been doing my career in reverse because um, I started off on a fifty thousand watt station, Ooh. went to a four kilowatt station or one kilowatt pumped up to four kilowatts, and. And the, my last appearance has been with my dad on a 25 watt station in Leek in Staffordshire. Oh really? <laughs> so that's that's my entire career. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't we play some Caroline stuff then? What do you think? I guess so. Yeah, why not? What okay. a what a place that was. Wow. Well. Going back in time on the sounds of the nation, it's the Caroline flashback. Hey, it's all about the 70s as well. Boat that rocks the ocean. That's us. Radio Atlantis on par at BBC Essex. talking about me again. Well, I had no idea there were so many listeners all the way around the world. It's for amazing, this isn't it? It's, it's absolutely know. incredible. A lot of people saying it's so good to have Radio Atlantis back, but we shouldn't go near the Knock Deep. Because <laughs> the Knock Deep was actually pretty rough. Though saying that, actually, I'm sure, I'd swear this boat's moved a bit, you know? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we were off Kanoka, wherever that was before, but uh, we seem to have been <laughs> landed up somewhere in England. Well, yeah. no, what I mean to say is that the, the pier seemed about, like, about two feet away just now. Oh, my it's goodness actually, me. It seems to have moved about 20 feet away now. I don't whether we've actually broken the anchor or not. I, 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 I don't uh, have any responsibility for that, I'm afraid. Barbara, come on, come on over. We've just had a, an email from, uh, from, from our friends. Now, you got, you got the email, didn't you? I, I, I did. gave it to you. Yes, right, yeah. Come, apparently, there's a, there's a studio camera up there. You can come and, uh, come and set, lean over my shoulder and, and say hi to the people who are listening over there. Hi there. Hi, everybody out there, especially in Georgia. So, especially to Ron and Sarah. Hi. 